And like, I can't really like edit it because it's live. So I'm just going to redo it. I appreciate you guys all being here, though. Thank you so much. If you guys haven't liked the video already, uh, go ahead and do that. If you want to just keep watching, you can. Otherwise, I'm literally just going to start over. So let's see if I can do this successfully. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. We're just going to redo this. Man, this is going to be weird. Welcome to the Joyous Kingdom. In today's video, we're going to be covering Cool Man's Universe, an NFT project led by Coffee Dan. This is his Twitter. He's got like 70... Thousand followers question mark super active on Twitter. He's a famous artist storyteller author All the things all the above things all the things that I talk about being really important for an empty project um, And so yeah, so that's the owner this project has oh by the way before we get started I'm a holder of this project. I bought this uh, six days ago I think right when I made my video about it um, just to be part of the project. I liked him. I'm not a flipper. I'm a collector. I buy and hold. I don't sell. There's no pumpy and dumping going on here. Just full transparency. This is a project that I like because I like art. I like story. And he's got all the above. So they got 0.17 floor price, 2,500 Ethereum traded, 5,000 owners at 10,000 items. Here's their art. Hella cute. Very much like Doodles. The only difference for me, the reason I bought into this project and but didn't buy into Doodles is because I feel a much more emotional tie to this project um, because of the stories and the TV show that they have that you're going to find out about in a second. So I hold one. The one in the thumbnail actually is the NFT that I bought. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, they got their website and Discord linked here, or Twitter linked here. Awesome. Their activity, they were kind of chilling 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.25. And then that's when they had their ramp to the 0.3 when Gary V bought in. I got in here. This is when I told you guys about the project saying, hey, they have good legs. Um, they're doing well. I think it's a smart buy. And I think that the floor was at 0.1-ish, something like that. And then it went up to 0.3 literally the next day from Gary Vee's thing. So I think he's watching my videos. And then it you know, obviously did a little bit of a correction as flippers got in and out. Um, and they're selling like hotcakes. So on their Twitter, they're very big on the message and the brand, and they've always been that way. This project's been a while. This this brand has been a, has been around for a while, right? And before we get started, or before we like continue on, also there's going to be a giveaway for this hat, and there's only one. There's only one of these available ever, or not ever for a while. Um, only holders of my NFTs can get access. This is the only one in circulation that's not going to an NFT holder. Right, and so you're gonna win one of those and an NFT. All you have to do is uh, stay until that part of the video, and I'm gonna talk about how you can enter. And also, this is Devin Angel's Artisan Labs shirt. He's a company that makes wrist rests. There's these things. They go under your wrist, and they're custom resin. They're fucking beautiful. They're amazing for gamers, people with PC setups. Here's his shirt. It's dope. Here's the back. It's sick stuff. Really sick stuff. Uh, so yeah, anyways, well, we'll get to that later in the video. So their, their brand is your special, be comfortable in your skin, you know, relax, it's chill, life's not as complicated as you're making it probably. And this is the brand and the message that they have behind it, very powerful. The people who are in this project are in it because of that message and they love the art and all those things. And so here's, like, they have a little bit of a game that you can play on mobile and desktop if this thing will load. Um, and it's cute as fuck, dude. It's cute, it's fun. You can tell, like, there's personality just from the vibe. Just It's just vibe, right? <coughs> Great piece of personal branding here. Coffee Man Dan tweeted his grandpa got a tattoo to celebrate the launch. That's just dope. It's it's good to see that. Like me just seeing this one photo makes me so much more connected to this project. Love it. They're doing this stuff right. They're being very, very communicative and very just good online. It feels like I'm interacting with a humanoid or like a human with feelings, you know, and not just some entity. They made a cool video. Um, they're doing all the things I talk about that is important for brand. They're doing literally all the things. So. Danny, if you want to come on for an interview, bro, uh, I think it'd be dope. I've been doing it for like doodles. I did it for uh, feudals. I did it with Boonji. I did it with Subducks. I think that'd be fun to do a founder's interview, just to talk, chat, learn about you. I think it'd be fun. And I'm a fellow artist and it's just cool stuff. I think we have a lot of things in common. Um, and there are guys, before you guys say I'm suck, sucking up or something, I do have some things that I think they could do better on. And I will be talking about that too. Here's their twit. Here's, uh, Coffee Man Dan's Twitter. He just had he wrote a book also that goes with the NFT project. And since I bought it, obviously I bought the book, so I wanted to read it. Uh, that's purely artistic subjective. Um, he does a very good job personal branding, tweeting, retweeting, talking to people, making people feel like he cares because he does. And you can tell that's just vibe. That's something you can pick up. He's a good person, and he really is about this message. And it's cute as fuck art. And when you mix this with real emotions, that's where you get something like how I said with Doodles. They're missing that one factor. They have they don't have the TV show yet, and this is what it would be if they did. So imagine what doodles will be once they have their own shit, right? Their floor is at like four or five ETH right now. They're probably going to triple. Um, and here's a great piece of personal branding on their website, talking about his past, his present, and his future. Talking about how 
his drawing kind of saved him and made him this awkward kid to being like that guy who can make people laugh and smile. And he says to these people, my universe offers them a simple, warm, fun, happy place. It's lo-fi art with high def message. They're big on the message and they talk about that a lot. And that's how you have to do it. Even if you feel like you're being annoying, your message is what's important because it's not the art, right? The people are in here for the message. Um, and that's the thing. This is simple as fuck. You don't have to be an amazing artist to be able to do this, but you have to be an amazing person, brand, marketer, storyteller to be able to pull off people in the millions following you, right? Because he's got so many followers. And in the future, he wants to be up there with like Hello Kitty, Adventure Time, The Simpsons. This is why I talk about high, stri like high striving and uh, saying, this is what I want to do. I want to get there. Like for me, I want to rival Pokemon. I want to be at the top of the game and I will get there. And that's great. You want to see this from a founder. You want to see him talking about his dreams and what he wants to do. And this is the book. This is the one I ordered. This is just, just to support another artist. And, um, I mean, obviously, I bought the NFT. I want to see what it is. And they have a YouTube channel. Um, guys, if you're watching this right now, thank you so much for being in here. Uh, if you're in here and you haven't liked the video, there's 12 of y'all watching, and there's only 7 likes, so I don't know what's going on. Click out of the full screen. Give me a like. Yeah, I mean, look, like, I'm recording this two times in a row, bro. You got to give me a like. Give me a like. It helps me so much. So they have a YouTube channel where they have, like, a TV show. Exactly what I say a project needs to do, and this project has it. And there's some in it. There's some that are like really long, a few minutes. There's some that are 20 seconds. And some of these have definitely gone viral on TikTok. This one's viral on YouTube. Oh, these are all actually doing really, really well, right? Um, and so they have their own like lore and story. And people get emotionally invested. When you have emotional investors, you get diamond holders because that's how it works. But I, I think he, I could see some more personal branding from his side. I would love to see more sit down talks. That's why I offered to do the interview with him. Um, this is their Discord. It's very more family oriented. This is what you get when you buy into artists and artist projects. Is you get people who aren't flippers. So you don't get Moon Boy talk as much, and that's fantastic. That's what you want. You don't, or you don't. Sorry, you don't want Moon Boys. You want people talking about the project, being excited because they're gonna hold, and that's like. That's what matters. You want people to hold your investments and want to be in them. Like that's what it is, right? And so. We're going to answer an AMA question of the day. Turtleneck Pro, this is in my Discord, by the way. If you go to the AMA section about life, you might get featured in a YouTube video. Turtleneck Pro, what's the best way to engage your Discord community? I want to foster a close relationship, but how do I do it without being too annoying? Um, don't have too many announcements or like uh, interactions with them where you have to tag everyone. You want to do that one or two times a day, um, not like 10. A lot of people have it on for like their tweets and stuff. Uh, and then to engage your Discord community, you need to bring something that isn't available to them otherwise. They have to be in the joy, in, not in the joy. They have to be in your Discord because they need something and they like to be there and there's something that they can't get from anyone else. And that's how you bring like people to come in and be engaging. If, if you're not bringing anything that is valuable to them, they're not going to stay there because they just... Why would they, right? Like just, what would you want from a Discord community? If you were new and you came in, what would you want to see from the people in there? What do you want to see? Do you want to see people talking about NFTs? Do you want to see podcasts? Do you want to see uh, interviews with people? Do you want to like see TikTok videos? Do you want to see like how to do very simple things? Like, is there anything that you know, Turnic Pro, that is specific to you that you bring onto the table that no one else does? And that's how you want to engage your Discord community. Highlight that and that's how you would do that. Instagram, Cool Man's Universe, 1,000 or 1,800 followers. They just started a few days ago. Instagram's really not that big for NFTs, so that's not really surprising. It doesn't really matter. Um, but here's Coffee Man Dan's, 2.5 million followers. So he's very well known. Um, like, literally, he's like hella well known. And he makes these posts. And honestly, seeing these kind of things like this, guys, is enough to make a holder. Because he's like, this is dope. You get to see him, his art, a little written piece. And that's how you get emotional investors. I would feel bad about myself if I sold this project because now I feel emotionally invested in this guy. And that's just how it is you know that's how that's how proper branding is done uh, okay here's the giveaway so i'm giving away this diamond skies nft by rita she's an amazing nft artist that i met a long long time ago in the summer when i first it's one of my first art pieces i ever bought and i love this nft um and so all you have to do to win this or the hat there will be two winners it'll be random if you want to win a hat or this nft all you have to do to win is go to my Instagram, k.bergman. The link should, might be in the description, uh, k.bergman on Instagram. Follow me. Make sure you're following me. And go to my most recent photo, this one with my hand covering a book with my joy shit. And go to the comments and type in hashtag JK. Hashtag JK for Joy's Kingdom. That's all you have to do to enter. Um, hopefully you do. This hat is very, very, very limited edition. It's only one. Uh, and um, yeah, dude, that's all you have to do. And you might win the NFT also, which is a beautiful piece. And I'll share her Twitter uh, for whoever wins because she's an amazing person as well. Okay, that's it for the giveaway. Um, here's his Facebook. He's got 
1.7 million followers. Again, he's he's just all every he's everywhere, guys. He's everywhere. He's doing all the things right. This is how you properly brand. Uh, and here's his TikTok. Same shit. There's like three million followers on this account, I think. And like all his videos are getting ridiculous engagement. I mean, in the hundreds of thousands, millions for a lot of them. And so let's talk about some things they could do better on. I will go out of full screen now for this, or into full screen for this. Sorry. So what could he be doing better? Um, he could be doing better in the sense that the NFTs, like are all the characters, sorry, could have a little bit more personality and like personal personality, right? If that makes sense. Like I want to feel emotionally connected to that character rather than being like, this is like with Adventure Time, for example, I don't feel as connected to the individual character as I do just like the broad message. With the broad message is great, but I would feel even more emotionally invested if my NFT that I owned had his own little personality trait that was special and unique. And I know there's 10,000 of them, but honestly, Danny, you got your whole life to do this. Like you could make one a month. You know, like that's the kind of thing that I'm going to be doing. I have all my NFT characters in the game that I'm going to have at some point. All my NFTs in my TV show I want to have at some point. Each one will have his own little backstory. That's why Pokemon works. Pikachu's got his own little personality while also being Pikachu, right? But you also are connected to Pikachu, right? And there's always an emotional tie there. And that's how you could just like do better, do even better than how you're doing. You're doing all the branding stuff right. Um, and I think you're not over promising shit. You're doing a lot of the foundational things right. Again, it's a new project. Everything is speculation. But for now, you've proven yourself in the past. This is your brand. This is your message. And people know that who are buying it. If you're buying into this project as a flipper, you're an idiot. Because this is not the kind of project you do to buy into a project and flip tomorrow for a 10x. That's just not the kind of project this is. That stuff isn't really possible with a project like this. Unless they were to get signed by some like massive corporation or business, then maybe, of course, like something crazy would happen. But for the most part, it's going to be a steady incline. If... <coughs> steady incline as long as Danny doesn't just fucking go downhill. Now the problem with artists like projects also is if the artist fucks up and does something wrong and people get mad, is they they might get cancelled. And that's where the project takes a big dip. You saw it with Jungle Freaks, Trostley, and you saw that with Pudgy Penguins with Cole or something like that. So it is important to remember that. That's why personal pieces, personal branding is important. That's why I keep saying Founders of NFT Projects, come find me. Let's do these interviews. Let's do these founder interviews. We did them with Subducks. We did them with Doodles, Boonji, uh, Feudals, or so, and a few others, I think. And it's important. You guys need those pieces. If you fuck up, you need to have something where people can be like, no, 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 this is a good person. This is not their intent. I want to hold this project, okay? Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you haven't joined into the giveaway, make sure you do that. K.Bergman on Instagram. Just type in hashtag JK on my last post. Make sure you follow me. That's all you have to do to get into this giveaway. Um, I appreciate you all being here. If there's any other questions in the chat, what's up with the Russian bots? Dude, I don't know, bro. And it's like deleting itself too. Like they're deleting on, I think they're deleting. I don't know. Whatever. This is what happens, Jesse. When, 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 a, when like a finance channel starts to pick up, bots just pop in. They see like certain keywords and they're like, NFTs, pop in. They just blast the thing. So I'm going to have to probably hire someone to like get rid of bots or something. It's so annoying. But anyways, guys, uh, if there's no other questions in the chat, uh, I think we're done. We just filmed this video twice. Uh, if you're watching this not live, I literally recorded the whole video with all these guys in the chat with us and realized I wasn't streaming like the actual screen. So it was just my face. And so I said, okay, we're going to restart this. And I literally recorded again. And I probably cut it. If you're watching this, I probably cut the first 20 minutes out. So yeah, anyways, guys, I appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you're in the chat, even like this video, please like this video. It helps me so much. There's 12 of y'all in the chat. There's only nine likes. Make that 12. Guys, thank you so much for being in here. I appreciate all of you. I'm excited to see who wins this hat. This one of one hat, basically, for a long time at least. Um, it's not available to the public. And so, yeah, man, if uh, if that's it, continue on your joyage, continue to learn, and be grateful you're alive watching this video. Thank you, Tom Crush It, man. Bye. And we did it.